Tonight, we're fighting to save the greyhounds that critics say are suffering shocking horrors in the racing industry. An explosive report published in the Miami Herald claims 74 greyhounds have died on racetrack properties in Florida since just May of last year. That averages out to one gentle, innocent dog dying every three days in Florida, where there are a dozen racetracks. And the charges don't stop there. Critics claim racing greyhounds are confined to small cages for long hours. Cages so small they have little room to move. Critics claim they're forced to race in extreme weather conditions. In a small victory, a new Florida law is exposing some of these horrors. For the first time, owners are being required to file a death report whenever a greyhound dies at a racetrack. Critics say that's the only reason the shocking new death toll statistics have now come out. Tomorrow, right here on this show, I will talk to Gray 2K, Gray 2K, USA.org. It's an activist group trying to save these gentle, innocent greyhounds. Uh, they've got a surprise plan for us. Straight out to animal advocate Jane Garrison, who has a greyhound, I understand, with her right now. Jane, you are a prime animal lover. Uh, this reaction, please, to the report claiming one greyhound dies every three days in Florida's greyhound racing industry. Well, Jane, you can see from this gorgeous niece of mine, these dogs are so sweet and so gentle and so kind. And those are the deaths that were actually reported. It makes me wonder how many of those deaths go without being even reported. And to say that they die is actually putting it very lightly. These dogs are killed. If you read what has happened to these dogs, one of them was so overheated after racing, and then they put him in a crate, and he died alone from overheating inside his crate. One actually died of a head trauma. One died because they forced his dog to race in the middle of the night and he couldn't see where he was going and he banged into a fence and killed himself. These are horrific deaths of young, healthy dogs. The whole racing industry has to stop. These now dogs we, live we reached out to the Greyhound Racing Association for comment about these allegations. That group referred us to someone they say is an important member of the Greyhound Racing community. In an email to the show, that person said the report is, quote, somewhat misleading and claims not as many dogs died due to racing-related causes as the report suggests. Personally, I think even one dog, one greyhound dying is too many. Uh, what say you, Jay Garrison? Exactly. One is too many. And if that were the case, why is this industry fighting the reporting of injuries? They don't even want to report the injuries. If everything is okay, what do they have to hide? These dogs live a miserable life. There's overbreeding. There's thousands and thousands of dogs every year that are discarded. They live their entire life, 20 hours a day, in a tiny crate that's so small they can barely stand up, turn around, lie down. They're packed in these trucks, four and five crates high, forced to be transported in the middle of the summer in Florida, dying of the overheat, to go to these tracks to race. It's a horrible, outdated industry. It's surrounded by cruelty, and it has to stop. If people want to bet and waste their money on betting, go to the poker tables, go to the slot machines, but let's leave these sweet, innocent dogs out of it. Well, the difference is if somebody wants to be uh, involved in sports and you want to go to a sports book at a casino and bet on sports, humans have a choice to be involved in that sport or not. These animals have no choice. They didn't say, sign me up for greyhound racing. So. Exactly. And Jane, this dog here is one of the very, very few lucky ones who actually was retired from racing and lives in a loving home. But most of them are either Wait, killed. Wait, this one, this one was retired from racing that you're holding? Yes. Her name oh. is Shan. She's my niece. And she lives an amazing life now. But that is not the life that most of them lead after they're done. They get sent to tracks in Mexico, in other countries, where the conditions are even worse. Look at Some those of eyes. Look, look at the eyes, eyes of that. Look at his ears. Look at her ears. We love you, Jane, and your beautiful little rescue. Stay right there. Speaking of rescue.